welcome back to my channel. If you're new, what's up? My name is Danielle Carolyn. Nice to meet you. I used to be known as Danielle Marie, but now I'm switching things up and I went to my last name instead. So hi, I'm Danielle Carolyn. Wow, that's really weird. Anyways, it is a Friday night here in my humble abode and I'm just feeling super cozy and just, I'm in a good mood. And I'm going to be doing a video all about back to school inspiration, a video that you guys have really been wanting from me lately, just about being productive, how to succeed in school. And I was like, let me just, you know, have a week of school. Let me feel it all out. And I just have some tips for you guys and tricks on just how to have a good school year and how to feel good throughout the whole year. I am so excited to announce that this video is actually a collaboration with Girls Night In styled by JC Penney's. A lot of you guys might have heard of this event. Girls Night In is a tour of five different amazing women that are on social media. I'm literally such good friends with these girls and it makes me so happy that they are going on tour to meet a ton of you guys. They're going to 24 different cities and they've already been to some cities already. So the tour includes my girl Alicia Marie, Jesse Page, Nikki and Gabby, and Allison Stoner. So as I was saying, this is a tour sponsored by JCPenney's, which is amazing. I have gone to JCPenney's forever. It's where the shirt I'm wearing is from. It's super comfortable. I love it. So I'll have the link down below to one, jcpennies.com because they have the best back to school shopping ever. I literally found a, few, a cute new outfit that I'm really excited to show you guys later. And I will also have linked down below the event page for Girls Night In Style by JCPenney. I would love for you guys to see if the tour is coming to your town and I'm sure you guys already watch these people on YouTube or know of them already so you'd want to meet them anyways or see them in person whatever it is so I'll have that link down below some of their upcoming tours are this Sunday August 28th in Detroit Michigan August 30th in Cleveland, Ohio. September 1st in Dallas, Texas. September 2nd in Houston, Texas. Again, all those details are linked down below, but I wanted to kind of give you guys that little summary there. So I know you guys don't love long intros, but I just had some really exciting things to talk about. So without further ado, let's get started with this video. So the first thing that I think is super important for having a good school year and being successful throughout the whole year is having a nice workspace, whether that's at school or wherever you plan to do your homework and do your studying and do your work make sure it's a clean and nice organized and night just nice environment for you to be in I recently made this change and I already feel a hundred percent better while doing my work I had this big dark brown desk with like a hutch on it and like so much stuff and clutter and I would sit down and do my like my homework and I've got like my laptop here and I just feel so crammed so I gave away that desk and I went to a consignment store and found a really inexpensive sleek white desk. It is so amazing. It is life changing. I know you can't just go and buy a new desk, but whatever space you're working with, make sure it is just really healthy and it just feels good to be around and it's just a very clean space because there's nothing worse than just feeling crammed while doing your work. You want it to be a nice environment. So that's like the number one thing. Wherever you plan to be doing your work, make sure it's a good environment. Tip number two is to dress well. I personally, if I go to school looking like a bum, I will feel like a bum. AKA, I would do my homework really bummy or my schoolwork really bummy and I just wouldn't feel great. I'd feel bummy. Okay, I've said bum enough, haven't I? <laughs> but yeah, so I literally dress up for school almost every day. Like I pretty much do. Um, and I just think that's something that makes me feel amazing. And that doesn't mean you have to wear a dress and like heels every day. I mean, you don't really wear that to school, but just in an outfit that makes you feel good and like professional and just, just makes you feel good. Because if you don't feel good, your work's not gonna be good. You're not gonna feel good. It's just, that's just what I've lived by. And for me, going back to school is all about new beginnings. So finding that new sense of style for you, how how you dress and how you feel about yourself depicts your whole year. Like it, that's what creates the rest of your year. And that's what's so amazing about JCPenney's. They can make that happen for you. You go to the store. I went to the junior section and they had so many different options for so many different styles. They had girly, they had edgy, they had preppy. They had all the different styles that you might want to try out and find an outfit for you. Whether it's, you know, first day of the week on a Monday, wear your favorite outfit to kind of brighten up the day because I know not all of people like Mondays. Personally, I love Mondays. Like, I like Mondays better than Tuesdays because Mondays, it's kind of exciting. I, I don't know, I'm crazy. So this is my outfit that I picked out of JCPenney's. I feel amazing in it, but it's not too much and it's not too little. Like, it's just like a good amount. It's cute and cozy, but just super fun. So I'm wearing this like hoodie shirt, but it's like pretty thin. So it's like good for this time of year, especially if it's starting to get a little bit cooler around you guys. Um, it's like this, you guys know I love my lace up tops right now and it's got a hood and it's white and it's got pockets even if I don't tuck it in. And then I'm wearing this skirt that I literally wanted forever and I saw it at JCPenney's and I was like, hallelujah. It's this black um, 
skirt with like the buttons all the way down and I've just seen it everywhere on Instagram and Tumblr and I just love it so much it makes me so happy and it's so cute it's perfect for school it's like the perfect length and everything because we, I know most of you guys can't wear high-waisted shorts or anything to school. It's just, it just, it doesn't work. Then I also actually did pair it with some heeled booties because I love wearing booties and I think it's okay to wear them to school if you feel good in them. And I feel so dang good when I have a little bit he of heel on my shoe. I just feel like I just gotta strut my step, you know, or step in my, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, this whole outfit is from JCPenney's. So I'll have the link to the products that I wore down below. But again, check out JCPenney's. They have great stuff and it's really important to feel good in what you're wearing when you're at school. <laughs> My next tip is something that I literally have utilized already starting off school. And it has helped me so much to stay on track of things. Go to bed at the same time every night. What, Danielle? What? Are you crazy? No, do it. Because if you're sitting in school and you're at like study hall or you're doing lunch and you're like, eh, I can do this homework right now, but I can just do it later tonight, like after I get home from like soccer at like 9 p.m. and then I'm up to like 11. No, don't do that. Be like, no, I'm going to bed at 10.30 tonight because I go to bed at 10.30 every night, so I will do it now. Think ahead. I've been doing things in study hall or whenever I can during rehearsal or whatever so that when I get home I can have my time or I can do my whatever homework I need to do but whatever it is I know that I will be getting in bed at 10 30. then it will help you so much more like it's been so much easier for me to wake up in the morning because I wake up at the same time it's not like one night I go to bed at like 12 a.m. and then the next night I go to bed at 11 and then the next night I go to bed at 1 like it just stays the same and it's uniform. Even try it on the weekends. I get it if that doesn't happen, but hey, it's a shot. My last tip is something that I do every Sunday night before the week starts. On Sunday nights or Sunday evenings, you know, after dinner with the fam, I sit down on my desk and I say, okay, what's up for the next coming week? Like, what am I doing? Like, what's happening tomorrow? What's happening this week? What are my goals for this week? What needs to be accomplished? What can save for the next week? Like. Just what are the big things and how can I get those done effectively without losing sleep and without stressing too much because that is always an issue of mine. And I usually sit down and I create a plan and I just have a good idea about my whole week because if you go into your week blind, it never really works. I've done that before and I like didn't really know what was happening. I just kind of went into the school day on Monday morning and I was like, oh, I have a test today. All right, Danielle, good job. That happened one time, never let it happen again. Don't let that happen. Thankfully, I told my teacher and she she believed me because I wasn't lying, I really wasn't. Because she knows me, I'm really prepared all the time and I was just like, I don't even know what happened. Like, I don't even know how I forgot. And she was like, you didn't look at your planner, did you? And I was like, no, and she's like, it's okay. Like, they get it. If you are a good student most of the time and you forget something, it's whatever. But anyways, avoid that problem and Sunday night just look at your week and just make sure everything's good. Did these tips help you? Let me know down below. Comment down below. I love responding to comments and talking to you guys. But yeah, make sure to go check out Girls Night In Styled by JCPenney's. I will have the link down below. If they're coming to your city, you should definitely go. It's a great event. I want to go one day. I think it would be so much fun. Also make sure to check out JCPenney's for all your back to school shopping and dress well, have fun. So yeah, and just a reminder, all of my social media has changed. My real name, Danielle Carolyn. Whoa, that's weird. So my Instagram is Danielle Carolyn. My Twitter is Danielle Carolyn. Um, my Tumblr, I think, is Danielle Carolyn. My YouTube is now youtube.com slash Danielle Carolyn. I know it's a weird change, and I'm thankful that you guys are bearing with me. It's just something that I wanted to do for a really long time. So many people have the same middle name as me, and, and I love my middle name, don't get me wrong. It's not just going to leave but I want it to be known for me and I want this to be a lasting thing for me. So I hope you guys understand. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it for you guys. I hope this video was helpful in any way, shape or form. Again, let me know down below and I will see you guys this Sunday for my next video. Bye guys.